All right. So before we get started with getting to think of it, planning out our custom post types and building out all of these wonderful things we talked about, I want to take a look at the actual layout we'll be building and then also look at the back end at Divi Machine and how we've utilized various of these Divi Machine specific features and modules and things to make all of this happen. So let's take a look at the layout right now. All right, guys. So here we've got the landing page for our listing site, Divi Engine List Me. You can create a new post over here. And we've got our latest classifieds and we're using that beautiful slider for Divi Machine right here. And we've built, of course, a custom loop layout for our listings here. Now, if we look at the different components here, we'll see that we've got some product images. We've got a status, this item's free, this one's gone already, and then a title category that it falls within, some text, and then the location of the item. And then you can, of course, view the post. So going down further, we've got the different categories that we have listed up here. For this example, we've only got a all classifieds. Then we've got for sale, lost and found, and stuff that's free. So that is what we have. But of course, you can incorporate whatever you want to, as many things as you want to. This is just to show you how to get that structure built. And then you'll, of course, go apply to your use case. So here we've got cars and houses and all sorts of different stuff. And one thing you'll notice here that there's a difference. This one has a price, whereas these items that are lost do not. Now, that is all done with one layout, but we use some very clever logic on the back end that we'll show you how to do in this course. So let's look at the actual view post. And this brings up the single post page. Now, here you can see the gallery, which works beautifully also here. And then it's got the contact person or owner information with a map even that fully integrates with Divi Machine and Divi using just these amazing tools together. You can really do a lot of stuff with it. So I'm going to go to the back end now, and I'm going to go to my dashboard. And let's take a look at what is installed when you install Divi Machine. Now, here we've got Divi Engine, and then you'll notice the machine settings, add edit post types, and add edit taxonomies, and then a spot where you can go add your license. Now, we've got Divi Form Builder also installed here and machine accounts. So if you do have those plugins, it's best to use that throughout the course because it's two chapters at the end, especially for you on how to take things even further to build a better layout. Let's go take a look at the machine settings. Now here in the machine settings, you have areas where you can add some custom CSS. Now bear in mind, this CSS is here because we've already started building on this site and this is the completed product where you will have nothing in there once you have installed the plugin. You can put some custom JavaScript, import export settings, and then you can also just remove all the settings when the plugin is deleted. You can also enable disable debug mode. We've got search settings right here with a bunch of different fields you can enable or disable. Module overrides where you will have to tell things like the map and we will cover this in the course on how to make sure that it's looking at the right post type for pulling in data for the maps. And then of course your license and where to go help or find help. So there you go. That is the first part. The second part is here, the add edit post types where you can add your different custom post types, and we'll definitely cover that a bit later. And then of course, the taxonomies. And we've got the type taxonomy to delineate what different items we'll be selling on our site. But we'll talk more about that when we start planning out those custom post types. So let's quickly go to a page here, and I just want us to look at some of the modules. So actually, let's go to the theme builder instead. Here in the theme builder, we have the different templates that we've built to work with our custom post type classified. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the classified archive page. So that's that page that'll show all the different classifieds that have been added to the site. And then you can filter through it. And as you can see here, Divi Ajax filters, which is amazing, even a standalone plugin that is fully included with Divi Machine available to you right here. And we're using that to filter through. So this is one of the first custom modules that you have in Divi Machine that is added to the Divi theme. Okay, so when we look at it here and I open up this layer view, I can see all the different modules are in my different columns here. That's just the first text one. Here I've got a row with two different columns. Here we've got the filters. And then here we've got the map module and the archive loop module. These are all Divi Machine modules. So if I click the plus here, you scroll all the way to the bottom, 
you'll see Divi Machine right here. And inside of this, this is a folder, you'll see all of the custom modules specifically for Divi Machine. Now, these are the modules that you'll use to create your custom loop layouts, your archive pages, pages like this one in the theme builder. This is the bread and butter with a ton of modules like galleries, loops, filters, different ways to order things. We've, we've even got the nifty wish list feature over here. If you look over here, a lot of really cool stuff that we'll be building out in this layout. So guys, this is just a quick dirty run through of Divi Machine and the different things that we'll be tackling here with this layout and building out and having fun doing and educating ourselves, which is why we're here, right? So strap on in because in the next section or chapter, we're gonna start working on planning out those custom post types and making sure that we start building things picture perfect and pixel perfect from beginning to end using Divi Machine, the Divi theme and advanced custom fields. All right guys, I'm gonna catch you in that part coming up.